Hey, it's Brittany, and I'm here at All Star Music Resort here at Walt Disney World, giving you another resort tour. This is a value resort. Uh, these are very nice resorts to stay at, even though they are value resorts. I have toured the other two that are part of this. There's like a three. There's All Star Movies, All Star Music, and All Star Sports. And I have toured the other two. I will link them down below if you're looking for those. This is All Star Music, so let's go in and see what this resort has to offer. Hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go have some fun. Okay, here is where you get dropped off from the buses. Um, this is also really nice. So this is where you go to get to the theme parks or anything. Uh, they also have undercover over here. So, and they have, ooh, loud bus. Uh, the times of when the next buses will arrive. So if it's hot, you can, well, that's really loud, sorry. You can sit out here and wait, uh, or you can go inside. But we're gonna walk this way to the very, very front of the resort like you just got dropped off with a taxi or uh, from the airport. But there's an entrance way right here if you have been dropped off from the buses. Um, you just enter right there, I'll show you guys that. Uh, also the airport shuttle is right here. We'll go inside and I'll show you where that door leads um, if you're getting dropped off to and from the buses, uh, like you're going to a, a, you know, a park or something that day, or Springs. So this is the front, it's a beautiful little front. Um, you get dropped off here, clearly. You go in, it's a little red carpet, which is adorable. And then, just like every resort, all-star, or, yeah, an all-star resort. Uh, we've got a very cool themed lobby to like stage-ish. Oh, that's adorable. I love the artwork behind the check-in area. That's adorable. You got a place for the kiddos to watch some TV. And then their gift shop is the Maestro Mickey's. So this is really cool. So this was the door to the buses that I was telling you guys about from the outside. So let's head, oh, and there's restrooms over here and water fountains and a fuel rod station if you're looking for it. Let's head into Maestro Mickey's and see if they have any resort specific merch, which they usually do. But just like every other um, store at the resorts, they have a lot of good stuff in here. Um, if you've missed it from the parks, they have ears, uh, sun tree, sundries, um, other things like that. Very good song playing, but I know it's copywritten, so I'm trying to talk over it. <laughs> um, so if you've forgotten anything, you have like all sunscreens, some diapers, and stuff like that. Where is the merch specifically for this resort is what I'm looking for. I know that they have some all-star merch. Did I just miss it on the way in? Huh. I do not see it. They have nice plushes though over here. Um, usually it's like a, just a little section that is just for this resort, which I am not seeing right now. But yeah, usually they have resort merch. I don't know why I don't see it. Maybe they're redoing it right now. But let's head out this way. A bunch of musicians and artists on the walls, lining the walls as their decor. Hey, there's T Swift. Hey, hey. <laughs> Michael Jackson. I mean, just, I mean, you'll know all these artists. And then their food court is the Intermission Food Court. And then you have a arcade over to our right. But this food court is, I mean, it's massive, just like all of the, the resort ones for these. But these look pretty good. Honey Barbecue Pork Sandwich. Yum. Ooh, rockin' stitch cupcake. Well, that's adorable. Yeah, this looks really good. Yum. A Mickey shape brownie. Yum. But yeah, so it's just like you, you go up, you get your food, and then you pay, and you go and sit down. So nothing super fancy in here, but it is quite large because of this being a value resort. So let's head out to the outside and uh, see what how big this resort really is. Oh, we have press pennies here as well. All-star all -star press pennies, all-star music. Got a bunch to choose from. Actually, those are really cute. And some collectible medallions. And some people commented that they want to see what medallions and stuff they have at these resorts. So I'm trying to remember to actually show you guys. So let's head outside. Nice. I feel like this is a more open space than some of the other value resorts, which is kind of nice. I really enjoy it. So let's see what we got going on. We got a nice pool, a little bit of music playing. Let me, oh, and we have like um, 
uh, goodness, why did I forget what this is called? Shuffleboard, haha, <laughs> and a big chest over there. And then, yeah, so let's look at this directory and see where we are. So we are here at Melody Hall. So it looks like we've got a couple sections. So let's start uh, and go to the right. Okay, we're gonna go to the right, but starting from Melody Hall, which is behind me, and the pool, we are gonna take a right and just head this way and see what we can get ourselves into. But I think it kind of just goes around because that starts sports, I believe. But we'll see. Some JBs playing in the pool. We'll go this way. We'll just see. We'll see. Yeah, so that leads to the parking lot and sports. So I think this just curves around. This is another entrance. If you're, This is like the front entrance we just came in. So you can come back out here to cut to the pool besides having to go through the lobby, which is another way that you can get around this resort. So it looks like the first section is the Calypso section. Just like, you know, the stairs of the conga drums. Got some maracas. This is also where the main pool is and the pool bar is here. This is the pool bar as well. Very similar to the other resorts on property, especially the value resorts. They're all kind of laid out very similar. I think they're really easy to navigate most of the time because it's not such a hike <laughs> getting back to your rooms or anything like that. So here we have, this is cool. I like all the colors. This is nice. The pool, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I can show you this because there's not many people in it, so. <laughs> but yeah, pool looks really nice. Yeah, elevators are in the middle, just like every other value resort on property. But yeah, it's pretty, it's nice. Okay, heading into already the next section, which is also, again, very walkable, very easy, nothing. I don't know, to me it's just like, I, you can get to everything pretty fast, which I actually really enjoy. Especially if you walk around the parks all day, you're not gonna wanna do a hike to your room. <laughs> oh, playing conga. Who's got conga on uh, Guardians? Also, the pool has Donald and it's the three caballeros. I'll show you that when we get back out there. If you didn't see it in that first clip. But I think this is the jazz section, which is cute. And there's a really pretty fountain over here, which is very nice. Yeah, all-star jazz band. Very quiet back here. Very cute. Yeah, I like these. Fountain's beautiful. I'm gonna go this way. Yes, this is the jazz section, the jazz inn, which is really pretty. I like this a lot. The jazz inn. Cute. But this fountain is like really peaceful and cute for sure. Oh, there's another pool back here. That's nice. Oh, is this the, is this the, what is this? It looked like the one that's over at sports, but it's not, they don't connect. I know that. <laughs> They're like right next to, next door to each other. So they look like the hockey pool thing. But no, this looks like it's like, is it like a stereo? Like an old stereo? I say that, but, ooh. Sorry for the language if you heard that. Um, <laughs> But we've got Broadway to our left and Rock into our right. So let's go to our right. There's Ariel, cute. Music playing throughout, which is, you know, pretty on brand. I don't hate it. It's a nice pool as well. Yeah, we got some like A, the AM radio, cute. Good music playing as well. It's more like my music, but uh, it's nice. More people over at this pool than the main pool, which is kind of funny. Oh, cool. I see an old car over here. That's dope. This is cool. Okay, this rock section is really freaking cool. <laughs> rock Inn is over here. I love all the guitars. 
and these and this old car here is like really freaking cool. <laughs> Let me walk over to it because it is just a cool feature. But rock in. Again, all these resorts have such cool colors. You can see sports back there. Uh, also, all of the parking will be on the side of wherever you're at on the resort. But look at this car. How cool is that? I love it. I love when they do just like little touches that matches the area you're in. But yeah, and this is like, looks like a road. So. It's really cool. I like this area though. It's really nice. It's so cute. Playing a little John Mayer over here. Blaine and I love ourselves from John Mayer. The lines. <laughs> I won't sing for y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> cool. This is beautiful though. Again, very peaceful, very chill. We got music pumping which is always great. And we're gonna head back over to that pool that we just saw over here and the cool car, the cool Chevy car. I love it, a Chevy Bel Air, very fun. Yeah, I don't know, I just think they did, they do the All-Stars really, really well for being like the bottom of the barrel here, technically. I think they're the cheapest on property. But I really enjoy them. Like, I've never stayed here. But just walking around, I would stay here at any of them. Because it's just cool. It's cool, and for the price, you can't really beat it, to be honest. And still be on property, which is always a plus when you're staying here. To be on property. And we got a harmonica going to the country fair. It's the country section. Which is awesome. Got some boots with some Mickeys on them. Some bolo ties with Mickeys. Cool banjo. A nice little like uh, Adirondack chair section all the way around so you have plenty of seating if you're interested. It looks like there's like a little picnic. I'll walk over there in the center. But these are cool. These boots are cool. Hey Disney, make these boots. I'd wear them. <laughs> I love the Mickeys on them. They're so cute. Adorable. They're so pretty. And again, elevators are in the middle there. But like, wow. Wow. Again, banjos. Yeah, see here, this is the little picnic area. This is actually really cute back here. Super peaceful, plenty of shade in the trees. Get your food from the cafe in the front and bring it back here and just relax. Oh, I guess this is a smoking section. I see a smoking sign. So maybe you don't want to, but I think just over here has the little smoking thing. So maybe these tables will be fine. But no, it's nice. Very quiet. I mean, all you have is like forest over there. So the country section is real quiet, which after a long day at the park, I feel like my favorite thing is to come back to a resort that is quiet. <laughs> quiet and calm after the chaos. The amazing chaos, but chaos nonetheless of uh, the Disney parks. But we're gonna go back over to the pool and head this way over to, I think the Broadway section. Oh, they have a cornhole. An all-star music cornhole. That's legit. Love it, or beanbag toss, whatever you guys call it. Again, heading back over to the stereo pool that was over here. Oh, it's called the piano pool. Just kidding. And the hours are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We're gonna head over to the Broadway section, which I feel like is going to be my favorite section because I like musical theater and stuff like that. Oh, cool, you have like the plugins back here. They done did it, and they did it right. Very fun. Cool little pathway. Really cool. Okay, Broadway. Stage door is the stairs. 
which is cute. I like that. Looks like they have a pickleball. Oh, they have like Broadway Street. No, that mine's a straight lamp. But they have Broadway, like New York, Wall Street. This is cute. I enjoy this. Yeah, it's supposed to look like an, oh my gosh, I love this. This is where I'd wanna be if I stayed here. It would be the Broadway section. This is so cute. I love it. It's like a marquee from a theater are like the, the main things. Oh my gosh. I absolutely adore this section. Mary Poppins, Frozen, Aladdin, Lion King. Oh my gosh. Oh, Aida too. Not just Disney ones. Goodness, this is adorable. It's like you're in New York City. And then being the beast over there. It's a third one. Oh, Newsies, of course. Newsies. Yeah, and there's some benches and stuff over here. It looks like it's like a... Oh my goodness. This is... It's like a little central park. Oh my gosh. What a hidden gem. I think this is adorable. Comment down below. Do you think this is cute? I think this is a cute little touch for the Broadway section. Like, look, it's like a little central park. This is cute. And then of course parking for this section. Oh my gosh, I like love this. It's so stinking cute. Yeah, I would want to request one of the Broadway rooms for sure. Cause they're just so cute. Yeah, and this looks like a little street and they have like, yeah, that you did it, you did it, Disney. You done did it. You done did it. It's like they're painting uh, the stripes again. Oh goodness, it's so cute. Like, look at how cute that looks. I love it. I love it so much. All right, we're gonna walk back over towards that pool we have been walking towards. What is your favorite section so far? I think this might be, maybe there's one more, but I like the Broadway one so far. I think they're all really cute, but Broadway is where my heart lies. <laughs> I'm a musical theater kid, which should not be surprising to anybody. <laughs> But this is really cute. I really enjoy this section. They've all been cute though. But yeah, I think we're going back into the jazz section, back to the piano pool, and then heading back to Melody Hall. So for a little wayfinding, we literally started over here by those maracas, walked all the way down, went over, turned, walked back, went to the other section and came back around. So it's, it's a big loop. Um, and we're gonna go to the right and see if there's a, a section over there. I think this just might be a loop, this resort, which is nice. But it helps you so you don't get lost. So if you just get on the path and follow it, you'll probably find where you're going. There's also a playground through here if your kiddos want to play at the playground. I'd say be careful playgrounds here in Florida, especially in the heat of the summer. They can get very warm. So I would just, you know, test it out as a parent, touch it. If it's hot, don't let them play on it. Um, but yeah, because it gets hot and those things, usually they try to be in the shade here, but sometimes it's just with the heat and the humidity here, heats those things up real nice. <laughs> we are rounding the corner just to see if there's a section this way. I don't think so. We will keep walking this way though, just to see what's around this little bend. Looks like there's a checkers game. Yeah, I think that just leads to parking and to uh, all-star movies. So like I said, they're pretty close together. We have a checkers game here. Plenty of outdoor seating outside of the main um, food cafe here, which is fantastic. But yeah, like I said, everything is laid out, I think so conveniently. Obviously the farther back you go, I mean, there's the second pool and it was a little quieter back there. Besides there's a lot of people in that pool. There's like nobody in this pool, which is funny. Um, is this pool closed? <laughs> like literally there's nobody in this pool. It might be closed. That might be why. But I see people like in the pool deck, but not in the pool itself. So I'm like, it's a little weird. 
Also, we have the Singing Spirits pool bar here. There's, oh, I think that's restrooms there, not pool bar. My bad. <laughs> but this is also where the recreational activities go. Our, our, oh yeah, pool is closed. They must be cleaning it. But we also have um, the three copieros, like I said. So they are right there looking all cute. But that's why the pool, there you go, this pool's closed. So everybody was in the pool, but they have a little fire pit here that they do s'mores at night as well. And then back to the Melody Hall where we entered. All right, we are back out front. That is gonna do it for this resort tour. Again, I actually really like these value resorts. I'm gonna stay here eventually and I'll do like an actual like room tour and how it feels in my opinion to stay at one of the value resorts. But I think they're really cute. I think Disney did a great job for being like the bottom of the totem pole, bottom of the barrel resorts. Sorry, the buses, <laughs> I'm at the buses. Um, I think this is a great resort. I think all three of these are great options. Um, also, if you wanna just go look at resorts and you can't park at them, go to Disney Springs and take a bus over here. That's literally, well, it's literally what I do when I do these resorts, uh, resort tours is I just park at Springs and then take a bus to whatever resort I want to tour that day. So it's a little tidbit if you're just trying to like resort hop for the day, uh, that's an easy, cheap way to do it. Another way is like for the contemporary and stuff that has like restaurants on property, uh, booking a reservation at like Steakhouse um, or one of the resort, like the, the restaurants at the resorts, that'll get you able to park as well. But the easiest way for me, just park at Springs, take a bus over here. But again, I actually thought this resort was so cute. I really love the Broadway section. Comment down below your favorite section or where you'd want to stay if you were here. Uh, but yeah, I love this resort. I think it's so cute and so fun. So hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!